Hello, everyone. Welcome to the wonderful world of Christmas lights. I wanted to come to you um, with this episode. Uh, I know that we've been out uh, for the you know past uh, couple weeks. We've been super busy, uh, but I wanted to um, come to you guys. Uh, this gentleman, um, he's been uh, putting out this way since two thousand and nine. Did a little bit. Um, and then he got really big in 2011 and, um, he's out in, uh, Staten Island, New York. And he was on the great Christmas light fight as well. And, um, you know, he's got a lot of different things you're going to see in his show. Um, that really makes the show. Uh, so definitely, you know, pay attention to what you see inside of the show itself. And um, let's take a look. I feel my house brings out the holiday spirit like no other place. When people come by for the summer, they walk by and they look, they go, that's the Christmas house. That's what it's known as. And that's what I want to be remembered as, the, the, the Christmas house. Hi, I'm Joe DiMartino. I'm from Staten Island, New York. Christmas is my favorite time of the year. I do this elaborate Christmas display out in Staten Island. And I started as a kid about 35 years ago. First thing I do is I build a makeshift room each and every year. And then once that's enclosed, then I can start working in the backyard. So September, when everybody's still at the beach and I'm in the backyard in shorts, starting to put stuff out. As the weeks go by, we then, I then start going to the alleyway. And then from the alley, by the time I'm ready, Halloween is here, then I'm in the front. My goal is each and every year to be ready on Thanksgiving. It takes almost three months. Like once this house gets lit, I'm standing out across the street and I'm looking what could be placed differently next year. The first Christmas after, uh, actually it's the second Christmas after 9-11. I decided I'm gonna put more and more lights up here. So I went out and I purchased the nativity scene and her memory. It was it was it was a hard time. And by me doing this each and every year, or well, that particular year, it helped me uh, move on with my life. I've had the privilege to work with, with Joe DiMartino since two thousand two, since um he called us uh, at Staten Island University Hospital and was saying, you know, I have this idea. My wife, Deborah Ann, passed in 9-11 attacks. I want to raise money for her. In her memory, she was a supporter of pediatric cancer um, causes. And his idea was, you know, I want to put out a dollar box. Um, you know, I do this Christmas display and I just want to see what happens. Because when Christmas did hit, although I had a lot of family and friends around me, there was always that missing link and it was very hard. When it came time to take everything down, I said, oh, what am I gonna do for the following year? I needed an outlet, and this was the outlet. All I can hope for this Christmas season is that we reach his goal of $40,000. It's been a cash operation since the beginning. This year, Joe's going electronic. He set up a Venmo account. That's a really big deal to him. With the new technology, we're offering to make donations that we reach that goal, because that would really mean a lot to my husband. Now, Marissa, my wife, on the other hand, she's with me 100%. She's the backbone of this whole operation. She makes the phone call, she answers, she does what needs to be done to make things happen. She's not one who inspires me because the fact that I found somebody that loves doing what I do and backs me, she's there even when we donate the money. And she writes Debbie's name on the check, the big check that the hospital gives us each and every year. And then we put the amount, because it's always a surprise. My community has been behind me like 1,000%. I got the best neighbors in the world. 
most of my neighbors, when we had the houses built, they all knew Debbie. So they know it, it's, they lived through it with me. So when I do this, they're part of it. Having a community I with you is important. I have an overwhelming feeling of pride. And they come here and they say that this has given them hope again. It's given them faith. We had somebody say that they believe in Christmas again because they came to our house. When you come to this place, um, you're transformed. You know, whatever is going on in your life, you instantly become a child again. And you can go through, um, just remember what, you know, the spirit of the holidays are about. It's about family. It's about getting together. This is the house where my family grew up and the block is named after Debbie. So everything coincides with Christmas with Debbie and why we do it. I think where I wanted to be, I am now. It's just amazing to know that he built this and has given this to people. It's priceless. It really, really makes me very happy. And more people that come, the happier I guess. If Debbie saw this operation today, I think that she would be happy the fact that we're raising money for sick children. You know, I know she's looking down on us and she knows that we're crazy because I'm crazy in a good way. I'm helping people and... <laughs> Well, once again, everyone, uh, this is another fantastic episode. This one uh, was really dear to the heart because uh, it dug into um, a deep part of this gentleman's life as to, you know, why he does what he does um, and for the community um, and putting it in memory of somebody. You know, that's important to really share you know, why you do things as far as like the Christmas displays and stuff. Um, but, uh, you know, as you can see, he really puts his heart and everything into it and it shows in his display. Uh, so if you are out in the uh, Staten Island side of things or close to it, definitely go check him out. Uh, like I said, he's been doing it um, full on since... 2010 and um it's amazing this way but uh once again um you know we're we're in uh september we're in that christmas flash halloween season so you know when you folks are you know digging your stuff out just think about the community and uh that could be uh showing you this way here uh, but once again thank you for joining us and uh this is a wonderful world of christmas lights <laughs>